on this play will have a blocking foul called by our lead official. You're looking at this play and you're looking like, whoa, that's the same thing I said. Right here, here's our BHD, here's our primary defender. She has obtained legal garden position, and as you will see in this play, she will maintain legal garden position. At this point, here's where the contact occurs. It is initiated by a ball handler dribbler. As you can tell by the physics of what's going to happen in this play, it is going to move our legal guard and defender backwards. So why did our lead official have a blocking foul on this play? Look what our lead is. Our lead is blocked by our legal guard and defender. So there is almost no possibility that our lead could have seen who initiated any legal or illegal contact on this play. The only two officials who could have possibly had any type of credible call line of sight is our trail, who was not present as a result of this being a fast break, or our center official. Remember, if we're going to call in our secondary coverage area, we must have proper position, a line of sight, and an angle, and still be able to see the airspace between the offensive and defensive players. Our lead official was unable to do any of that on this play.